The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of Paltalk.com, AVM software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of Paltalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my blog, GaryBaumgarten.com, where you are uh, invited to uh, make comments, uh, whether they agree or whether they are in agreement with uh, mine or not matters not. And uh, thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio. We are syndicated across the United States into 12 million additional households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. You know, it's been one year since Jonathan Cohn's Sick, that's the name of the book, introduced readers to eight average Americans struggling to find affordable medical care and told about the hardships they endured as a result. Their stories, Cohn said, were indicative of a national crisis. His solution, an idea that had spooked politicians for more than a decade, universal health care. Now, finally, a debate over universal coverage is taking place. Thanks to a rising chorus for change, everybody from the CEO of Walmart to uh, Governor Schwarzenegger in uh, California says say that uh, all Americans should have health insurance. Both of the Democratic candidates for president have said the same thing and have put forth serious plans designed to do just that. Their Republican counterpart, however, John McCain, disagrees. Along with a chorus of others, he says that universal health insurance is the equivalent of socialized medicine. Try to have the government cover everybody, he says. All Americans will end up with long waits, substandard care, and costs that go through the roof. Well, we're headed for another political stalemate, it looks like like the one that uh, prevailed in the early 1990s when the last effort at universal coverage failed? Or have uh, things become so bad for so many people that the pressure for change is unstoppable? And what about the plans that the presidential candidates are proposing? Hillary Clinton's plan is not the same as Barack Obama's plan. Here to straighten it all out, uh, figure it all out for us, is Jonathan Cohn, the author of SICK. Jonathan, welcome to News Talk Online on Paltalk.com. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, it's our pleasure. So uh, in, in, to start off uh, with this, um, do we really have a serious debate over the issue of uh, national health care during this presidential campaign? Oh, should, are, are we having one? Will we continue to have one? Um, I would say yes and, and yes. Uh, it came up. It was, it, there, it was a very big topic of discussion during the Democratic primaries. Um, a lot of it focused on some fairly narrow differences. Uh, although important differences between the plans offered by uh, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. But particularly now that the presidential nomination for the Democrats seems settled, I think you're going to see a very, very vigorous debate um, between two very different visions for how to fix the nation's health care problems. You'll have a uh, Democrat, Barack Obama, uh, saying that we need to have universal health insurance, and you'll have a Republican, John McCain, saying that it would be a terrible idea. And I think we will have a very uh, spirited debate about that, and uh, hopefully one that really gets down to, to basic principles and, and, and doesn't you know, get you know, sidetracked on a lot of uh, silliness that has nothing to do with the real issues at hand. While John McCain, uh, Jonathan Cohn, does not agree with uh, the Democrats' proposal for universal health care, surely he recognizes that it is a system in need of reform. He does, he does, and um, he's actually... Uh, it's spoken, uh, spent some time talking about health care, both in the primaries and since he secured the nomination. And he has made speeches and he has said things to the effect that I understand health care is becoming unaffordable and I understand we need to do something about it. Um, where he parts ways with his Democratic counterparts, and I should mention some of his Republican counterparts, where he parts ways with anybody who is in favor of universal health care, is that he believes the best we can do is to try to make some changes in the way health care is delivered and hope that that uh, eventually reduces costs. Now, now, some of the changes he has in mind I think are, are smart. I, I wouldn't object to them at all. And, in fact, you'll find the same ideas in, in the plans by the Democrats. 
is have to do with ways you provide financial incentives for doctors and hospitals to provide better medical care. But um, his notions of it, the, his other ideas are, are more problematic, and in particular, um, his, his basic idea really is that if we can create uh, a different sort of marketplace where everybody goes out and shops for insurance on their own, he believes that that will unleash all sorts of uh, market forces that will on their own come down and people force, end up uh, prices there. And in fact, there's very little evidence to suggest that's true. And, and, and even more problematically, it completely ignores the fact that in general, there are a lot of people out there who simply can't just go out and buy health insurance. Um, they can't get an insurance company to sell them health insurance. And it's not because they're not willing to pay the bill. It's because they have some sort of pre-existing condition that no insurance company would want to touch with a 10-foot pole. When Americans uh, talk about some kind of universal health care, they most often refer to what's going on in Canada because it's closest geographically and they're perhaps more aware of the plan in Canada than they are uh, plans elsewhere in the uh, world where there is some kind of national health care. In Canada, uh, the national program is designed to ensure that everybody has reasonable access to medically necessary hospital and physician services on a prepaid basis. And instead of having a single national plan, however, which is what is most often discussed here in the United States, uh, they have a national program that is composed of 13 interlocking provincial and territorial health insurance plans. There are some common features between them, but there are some differences. Uh, there is a framework that was developed under what's called the Canada Health Act. Now, we hear uh, proponents saying it's great because uh, if you have no money, you can get care in Canada. And yet, we also hear of people coming south of the border for procedures, sometimes life-saving procedures, that they just can't get in Canada because of a long waiting list. Right. Well, you know, the, the first thing to know about any when you look at any country abroad, or, or the United States for that matter, is that there is no perfect health care system. No country in the world has solved every problem perfectly. Every country makes certain trade-offs. Um, it is true that in Canada everybody has access. So you do not have the problems you have here with people going bankrupt from their medical bills. Everybody can get medical care. Um, and for the most 